Microphone, Dick. The concern from the Army Corps was the platform at the battlefield, you could see the corner of that building. So uh, the recommendation was they wanted a burn set up and, and old, older trees being planted, making higher, and they wanted to mitigate that corner. Basically, that's what we did by uh, taking off this one end of the parking lot, right here. Now that, that had uh, uh, parking further down, we lost about 12 spaces, and then we continued the emergency access. So basically the emergency access had a length to it. And what we did for those, those parking spaces we uh, removed we put a raised bed. Instead of a berm, we put a raised bed. So it's four foot higher than the parking lot, and it's eight foot higher than the ground. So if you're looking from the battlefield, you'll see a wall that's eight foot, and then on top of you these trees that are starting off at 14 to 16 foot. So automatically, you're eliminating one story just by raising the trees. That would be in here. <coughs> How we recouped those parking spaces was just going to the center island in between building three and four and adding two spaces. That'd be two on each end. That's four ends, two spaces is 20 foot. So what that does, it drops the curb on the east side towards the river, east side. It drops the curb 20 foot closer to the river. But it doesn't affect our landscaping plan. We still have room to put the landscaping that we've had planned there. So all the landscaping that was planned is still on, on uh, this modified layout and also additional. That's 
that would be what you see here almost. That's all additional trees right through here. So that's that trees will be in this raised bed. So there'll be trees out in front of it on a natural ground. Step up eight foot, then there'll be trees on top of the bed. And then against the building, we added shrubs. Because once a tree gets really tall, you know, you can see underneath, you were concerned about seeing underneath the trees and seeing the building. So we covered the building with shrubs. We have trees at two different levels, and that'll block that corner, and that should make them satisfied. That was basically all the questions or all the things he requested. Some of them we had already done, like putting a sign up, uh, don't go on the wetlands, you know, putting a uh, fence up, marking it, so on and so forth. So that's the mitigation uh, that we had offered, and uh, hopefully everybody will be happy. Thank you very much. Does anybody have any questions for Dave while we look? Almost at the, yeah, so it's at the same thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. It was just moved about 50 foot. Same width, same angles. There's no constriction in the path. It was just getting rid of the parking spaces to build that raised bed. Okay. Thank you. Where did you end up uh, sticking the eagle observation platform? Over here. It's actually it's actually down closer to the, our centerpiece. So we actually. Uh, the question was, where is the Eagle observation deck? And we actually moved it around the corner so it's more facing, I'll say, out into the river than before it was facing towards uh, the Stony Point Valley. Dave, just one more also with respect to this, uh, I understand, but I believe there was a presentation of the ARB with respect to certain other changes. Uh, uh, Amy or... or uh, Would you like to go over those? Just go a little bit so that they can incorporate that into the uh, Oh, sure. Um, so the ARB, the changes were um, basically they requested um, less bright panels on the building that could be seen from the battlefield. So we asked for a different shade, like more of a toby shade than the sort of off white that we had originally. Um, and they had also asked for the rooftop screening, there's going to be like a parapet now around uh, the rooftop mechanicals. Um, I think that's it, Dave. Very little. Yeah, it was very little, and it was one quick meeting, and everybody was satisfied. Uh, I believe the had, had requested that they make yeah. the change for the building. Yes, um, we actually, they did request that we consider removing the fourth floor of building number four. Um, the ARB did not like that idea. My client does not like that idea. And quite frankly, what it does is it allows the people to see the top floor of building number three. So um, uh, that is going to be our response. But that is literally the only thing I think my client objected to doing. But everything else were okay with. And, and as Dave said, some of it is signage and things that um, you know we're, we're fine with. Um, uh, you know, telling people not to walk in the wetlands and whatnot, but um, other than that, we're not going to change it. So, um, you're seeking amended final site plan approval? Correct. So, to include the ARB approval? Well, you'll, you'll need to hear back for the ARB before you do that, but also, uh, we're going to have to schedule a public hearing next month. I, I don't know if it's actually uh, necessary. There is a, a amended site plan provision in our code, two fifteen dash sixty five. And the planning board here, if a minor change, it has discretion whether to um, whether to schedule a further public hearing. According to our code, so you could waive it if, unless you feel that it's something that uh, this minor change needs to be. Yeah. Well, how much do we have to notify the public hearing, or will we just hold it at the next meeting? No, we have to, we have to advertise it, and, okay. uh, and then do 
to the balance and things of that nature. But, um, but if, 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 if it's a minor um, amendment, this board has the discretion to waive that uh, public hearing and just proceed with the application. Mr. Chair, just so you know, I did review the plans and I concur. They don't lose any parking. They add landscaping. They just take parking, eight parking spaces from one side of the building and put it on the other. So, engineering-wise, it's the minutes. So, minor change. I would say let's let's go with it and uh, and, and approve this. Okay. And do we need to? Yeah, Did you authorize me to prepare a written um, resolution for the board's consideration at the next meeting? And I'll incorporate all of the, um, the plans that, that Dave showed us as well as uh, in his um, presentation. And also uh, I'll, I'll make reference to the ARB resolution of the first week of July. Do you have a motion to? I'll make that motion. Let's check. The second? The second. All right. So go ahead and work on that resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.